What's up, you guys? Avery here, bringing you guys the final episode in the YCS or in the Road to YCS Atlanta mini series. And in this final episode of this mini series, I'm going to be talking to you guys today about being prepared. Um, I've pretty much covered everything in regards to the deck and the meta, pretty much everything that you guys need to know. And if you haven't checked out those previous episodes, please be sure to do so for all of my new subscribers from Make Capital G's channel. Currently, we're sitting at 644 subscribers. We almost busted out 300 new subscribers. So thank you guys so much for coming to the channel. I truly do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this mini series and want to see it return for future YCSs, Please be sure to hit that like button, save the video to your favorites. Also, be sure to hit that ding dong notification bell, hashtag notification squad, guys, so that you can be able to be notified when all of my videos are up on my channel. Sometimes I'm uploading one to two videos a day, um, and sometimes with a live stream here and there, and I'll probably be doing a live stream uh, later tonight. So, just to jump right into the video, if you guys have seen the previous episodes, then you know you pretty much have your entire main deck, side deck, extra deck, all that good stuff ready. You have prepared your side deck accordingly uh, in regards to uh, the meta and what it's going to be looking like. And now you have to prepare. So what do I mean by prepare? Well, have your deck list written in advance. Uh, this is pretty much, you know, a standard of what should be done. Don't show up to the event and, like, write it there because it's just going to be sloppy. And it's better just to have it done so that you can trade and all that fun stuff um, or sell cards to other people, whatever. Not that I do that. Hashtag not lying anyway moving on <laughs> um have your deck list typed out in advance um just have it typed out the day before so it's easy for the people to look at it and judges and whatever to take a look at your deck list um make sure that you know you've got everything packed and ready to go to the regional or ycs whatever it is that you're planning on doing make sure that you have plenty of money for gas and all that fun stuff um pack plenty of food um have hotel accommodations set up so that you know you're you're ready to go to the event um and don't forget anything i've seen so many people go to events then like oh crap i forgot my extra deck or i forgot my side deck or i forgot this card or that card so just make sure that you have everything ready to go if you're selling to the vendors it would be better if you could like have your teammate or someone with you to sell. Since me and my dad both play the game together, normally what he does is that he'll sell to the vendors once round one starts and I'll play. Because he really doesn't play in events all that much just because, you know, like I said in my chamber and deck profile, he's been ch playing chamber in like five to six years. So, you know, the metas come and go and, you know, things change and he just doesn't really feel like playing that same deck anymore. And on top of that, just, you know... He thinks Link Summoning is stupid, which I can't blame him, because I will admit, I think it's kind of dumb, but I'm excited to see what it's like. Um, and other than that, you know, just uh, have fun and be safe, because, uh, you know, you like your stuff, and everybody else likes your stuff, and everybody else likes your stuff and you, even more, so watch your stuff. Um, I cannot emphasize that enough. Um, other stuff to keep in mind is, you know, any last-minute tech choices that you maybe want to throw in. Um, there's always those last-minute tech choices that you think might be good, as I discussed in the last episode with, like, Lullaby of Obedience and all that stuff. And, you know, making sure that your side deck is uh, correct in how you want to play it and what you want to play. Um, Cosmic Cyclone versus Twin Twister. Uh, you know, everything else like that. And by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm showing a chamber deck, it's just because I literally couldn't think of anything else to, uh, to show on the screen here. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. And be sure to have your play mats. Um, I can't play on a table. I have to have my Spellgrounds mat. Uh, I love playing on that Spellgrounds mat. It makes me feel like an elitist. <laughs> um, and it just, you know, it makes you feel like you brought a piece of home with you and it kind of makes you feel comfortable at the event. Knowing that, you know, you've got your playmat, you've got your stuff with you, your calculator case and all that fun stuff. And, you know, you've got your side of the board, they've got their side of the board. So, you know, it's it's just one of those things that can might, you know, help you make or break um, getting your invite. And know your rulings. If you're playing a deck like, let's say, Zodiac, for example, or Chamberlain, know your rulings. Don't be afraid to call over the head judge. Just don't call over the head judge for every single small ruling that comes up. Um most judges that I've dealt with are pretty good, and I'm also a judge myself. So, little plug in there. If you guys ever have ruling questions, please be sure to leave it in the comments below, and I should be able to help you out. <laughs> um, 
But other than that, I think you guys are all set for Y State Atlanta if you're going, or even for future regionals, because this kind of episode can apply to even regionals too. So I know it was kind of a shorter episode, but there really wasn't much left to cover on because I pretty much already covered all the main things um, in the previous episode. So I might break this down to like two or three episodes from now on, just because that there's like you know a good chunk of information that needs to be covered, but it's never really like a four or five episode series. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for all the support from Capital G's video. Uh, I know I said that in a previous video I made earlier today, but I just really wanted to reiterate that because you guys are freaking awesome. Almost 300 new subscribers. It blows me away. It went from 464 to 644 in like less than 24 hours, in like a 10 hour span since that video went up. So anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. Um, as I said, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad, guys. And uh, please be sure to like the video, favorite, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.